I love the talk we just had on medicine. I have a comment about that. Something I just find astonishing, remarkable. I'm so impressed by this. Are you ready? Here's what happens. Someone is diagnosed. I'm, I'm making up a very common example for, this, for the purposes of this explanation. Somebody's diagnosed with terminal cancer. The doctor says, you got six months to live. You say, you mind if I get a second opinion? Of course, go ahead. Go to a second doctor. You got five months to live. Go to a third doctor. Seven months to live. So basically, you're going to be dead in six months, plus or minus. Okay? What happens? You're alive a year later. Okay? You're alive two years later. Three years later, the cancer's in remission. Five years later, it's gone from your body. You happen to have been a religious person, and all over that time you were praying. People were praying for you. Here's what's astonishing, is that if you are that person, you are more likely to believe that God cured you, this invisible force, creator of the universe, cured you, than that you had three idiot doctors diagnose you. <laughs> I am astonished by this fact. The American Medical Association, is that what they call AMA? Has got to be the most powerful organization in the world. Because no one questions those diagnoses. They'll credit whatever else was going on because they were sure they were going to die. And I can tell you this, I taught physics to pre-med students who became doctors. Not all of them are smart, I assure you. Not only that, they're all trained in the same system. So three separate doctors that all went through the same system of medical schools, that's not actually three different opinions. It's the same opinion, just nuanced by the, what the person had for breakfast that morning. It's not three different opinions. Now, just to confirm this, there's a colleague of mine in the front row. Ha have you taught physics to pre-medical students? No. You have not, so you don't, I don't have a second opinion on what this is. But, so, I'm just impressed that it's impossible for people to think that they just had idiot doctors diagnose them, or that it was a di diagnostic failure. I'm just... I failed I'm sorry, say again? I failed more pre-med students than I failed pre-med students in 101. Okay, we have a Physics 101 professor here who said he's failed more students who are pre-med than those who are pre-law. Yeah, it's astonishing. It's astonishing who ends up being our doctors. If you would like more information about the amazing meeting, visit amazingmeeting.com.